it works. Crossbow, you're gonna be my baby for this weekend. The Crossbow Seamless HDMI switcher has arrived. Let's open it up. I N. Actually, it's not I N. A neat white cardboard box with a logo that looks like an S, which stands for Salt Labs, the creator of this crossbow. The quick start guide. First we have the remote control and the power adapter, infrared transmitter cable, comes with a double-sided sticker, infrared receiver together with a double-sided tape, another one very small piece of double-sided tape do i even need them i don't think i need all these cables yet another one rs232 control cable and uh, there is one one bracket whoops plenty of small screws five screws two brackets you only need four screws, but they supply five, just in case you lose them. Right, very good. Finally, the crossbow itself. Ooh, red. Anything underneath? This is sponge, foam sponge. All these are foam sponge. Anything else? Let's check. Maybe there's a surprise. Okay, nothing else. Let's examine the main unit. This is the front face. This is the reason why I bought this unit. Most HDMI switches only rely on remote control, but this one has got four input selection switches. This is the mode, which we will test later. There is the power LED, the four channel indicators. Over here, we have the infrared service and the on-off switch. By the way, this red thing here is actually a rubber padding a very nice friction rubber padding so it will stay fixed on whatever surface you put okay on the left side we have the brand salt and the name four times one hdmi seamless switch on the back we have the four hdmi input and then we have the output one hdmi and one coaxial rs232 and then we have the power input the ir cable input so on the right hand side, we have HDMI and then design in Utah, made in China. Next is to power this thing up. When I ordered this, I was afraid I have to use a transformer for a USA power plug. But hey, look at this. It supports AC 100 to 240 volts, 50 and 60 hertz, which means I can use this in Singapore and in most European countries. Let's plug this in. And on the other end, plug into the back of the main unit. Screw it on. Let's turn it on. So the power indicator is on and channel 1 is on. So when I switch to channel 2, channel 2 lights up, 3, Four, back to one. Now let's connect up the HDMI inputs. For the first HDMI source, I'll be using the Panasonic camera. So let's plug in the HDMI output. The other end of the HDMI cable, I'll plug into input number one. And then I have a 20 meter HDMI cable which I'll run all the way to the projection screen. I will plug one end to the output port and the other end to the HDMI input 
of the projection screen. Now switch to the input source. There you go. The camera image coming from there. The sound actually goes through too. How's the delay? Let's see. Well, as expected, there are some delays, which is quite okay, less than a second. The second HDMI input source will be from a computer, which goes into input number two. So now it's in input one, you can see my hand waving. I'm going to switch to input two. So that's the computer screen. Okay, very happy with it. The delay is negligible. The third HDMI input source will come from a Sony cam. And that will go straight into input number three. So let's switch to number three. There you go, the third camera. Oh, it's picking up my sound. Let's switch back to number one. See how fast it switches over? Three, two, one, two, three, one. So that's seamless switching without delay. And now for the fourth HDMI input, another computer. And that goes to input number four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Can the crossbow seamless switcher take in multiple input source with different frame rates? Let's change this guy from 50i to 60i and let's test. So now it's in 50 hertz. Let me change it to 60 hertz or rather 59.9. Change, you can see, yes. Turn power off and then turn it back on. So that camera is on channel one. So let's switch to channel 1. Yes, 60 hertz mixed with 50 hertz. It works. Crossbow, you're gonna be my baby for this weekend. So now, as a backup, in case the button fails, let's activate the remote control. Is the battery in? Yes, the battery is inside. Let's remove the plastic. Okay, now I'm in input 1, input 2, input 3, 4. Randomly pick 2, 4, 1. Let's explore the rest of the functions. Okay, below the input selection is the cycle through selection. If I press the right arrow, you will switch to number 2, number 3, number 4. And then back to one. Okay, same goes. This is this one goes backwards. Okay, so mode. Let's check out the mode. This is quad multi display mode. That's how it looks like. Four screens in one. And then we have the one is the three mode. There you go. One big screen and three small screens. Then back to full screen mode. Yes. And then we have resolution selection 1080p, 1080i, and the rest are computer monitors resolutions. Probably we will choose 1080p or 1080i, depending on the projector. And then to my surprise, we can actually adjust contrast brightness, color, and sharpness. So if it's not bright enough, we can make it brighter. Look. As it happens. Beautiful. There is a lot more the crossbow HDMI seamless switcher can do. For now, simple switching is what I need for this weekend. What am I doing this weekend? I will be documenting the setup and post it on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and leave a comment or question. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.